Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've had a delivery and this one is from DIYJewels.com. Uh, they asked me if I would like some products to show on my channel. I said, yes, of course. Um, I've had some fabulous products in the past. So let's get into these and see what we've got. So we have, oh, diamond painting. I think we can maybe work out what that one might be. And oh, another diamond painting. And then, Another diamond painting. I think we might be having a little bit of a Christmassy theme here. And then, oh, a little dinky little doodah. Right. And you know, I don't like my dinky little doodahs. <laughs> so we'll have a look at this one first. Uh, there are quite a few special offers, as always, on DIY Chews at the moment. They are current uh, as I've made this video. So if you're watching it in a couple of months after I've done the video, just just double check uh, which special offers are on at the moment. Uh, if you spend over $39, there is free shipping and there is from 21% off. Um, if you spend over 79 cents, uh, up to, I think it's 30% off if you spend over $79. So I'll put uh, some screenshots on so you can see what uh, the offers are. But as I said, just double check uh, and what applies to uh, where you live as well. So yeah, we all like some money off and a little bit of free. Okay, so this is just a very, very cute little cover minder. Uh, I'm getting quite into my cover minders at the moment. Uh, to be fair, I'm not particularly using them as cover minders. I've got them as decoration uh, on an A4 frame. Um, I've put a magnetic sheet in an A4 frame, taking the glass out. I think the glass had broken. And uh, yeah, so then I've got a decoration. And I can't get this open. That's <laughs> because I think I'm opening in... I'm opening the clasp instead of opening the front. Let me have a look. Oh, it's got sellotape on it. Oh, dear. That's a really, really bad start, isn't it? Liz, what are you like? Oh, my goodness. It's got sellotape on. I'm thinking I can't open this. I've lost my strength. What's going on? Uh, I've not been eating my spinach. <laughs> it's because there's tape on it and I can't get it open. Right, let's try that again. Oh, look, it opens really, really easily once you've taken the tape off. <laughs> so it's this really, really cute little cover minder look. And uh, it's a little paw print. Oh, how gorgeous is that? It's like all in resin or acrylic. Uh, it's a little pink paw print. You could be, I think it was stated it was a cat one, but to be honest, it could be a dog one anyway. It's very, very cute and a very good thick uh, magnet on the back as well. Nice and strong, but not too strong that you're like trying to get it off. It does uh, just come off. So you can either stick it on your fridge or stick it to something uh, magnetic. Oh, sorry, stick it to something metal. Um, or you can use it as a cover minder. And cover minders are basically, if you're doing a picture, this is one from uh, March last year that I've going to do a special project with this so keep watching I've got uh, something that I'm going to be doing with this but just happens to be handy to show you what cover minders do so as you're doing your painting if you pull back your uh, cover sheet sometimes it just flops back over and it makes it really really annoying um, when you're diamond painting but if you just use your little magnet put that on one side and then your magnet on the other it just holds your piece of paper back so that it's not going and flopping back over where you're working and that's sort of the idea of them oh my goodness somebody bibbing their horn now i say every time i video is there some noise going on outside it's because it's so warm at the moment so humid i've always got the window open so any little thing that goes on outside always seems to anyway you may or may not have heard that right so or the other thing you can do is if say you've decided just to do the one color and then you get called away or you decide oh i've had enough of that diamond painting now as if yeah but you can sometimes uh, think oh i've done enough for today it does happen occasionally <laughs> then sometimes the cover sheet doesn't stick down properly because there's drills already on there so if you use your cover minder um where you've put your drills on it just keeps your, co your cover sheet over the so, um, pattern that's left without any drills on and still is sticky. Doesn't then get any fluff or anything on it because it's still covered over with the cover sheet. So that's just how to use a cover minder. But yeah, keep watching because I have got a special uh, little project coming up for this. Okay. Right. 
so that is my little cover mound and it's in this gorgeous little case as well you know i love little boxes and plastic cases and things i'm always using things like this okay what shall we look at first let's have a look at the top one first and this is a full drill and as soon as i saw it i thought well i'm just gonna have to have that one uh, it is on the website at the moment at three pounds and 26 pence uh, so you just can't go wrong it's an amazing price okay and it is a 30 by 30 so it's a nice quick little project i am going to be doing this as a present oh that's a shame uh, it's in my least favorite way of receiving drills and um, there's nothing wrong with these in the little tiny bags what they are they're just like a bag of 200 drills in each one um, and the manufacturers just go through they have boxes and boxes of all the different drills and then they just um, pull out which drills they need and just cut off the closest number to whichever 200 it is they always go over as well so you always end up with extra drills and um, they're just a little bit more faffy to kit up as it were because obviously you've got all lots of little packets rather than one big packet with all of one colour in but they're still the same drills there's nothing matter with them and um, it's just that it takes a little bit longer so they tend to be my least favourite way um, of receiving drills but say so nothing wrong with them and the colours look fabulous look at those okay we have our basic toolkit pen boat and wax and look at this one, it is fantastic. Oh my goodness. So I say it's 30 by 30. It has 20 different gems and colours. My goodness me. Okay, and if you've been with me a while, you will know. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hello, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're gonna subscribe and stay with us. Join our little family. And the nearest city to us is uh, Kingston upon Hull, Hull, and our um, football team, Hull City, are known as the Tigers because their football kit is black and amber stripes. So, as soon as I saw this, I thought, well, I have lots of people in the family that are pretty football mad. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do this one. So, it's a Christmas picture with a tiger on it. Couldn't be better. And although it's got a red and white scarf on, I am going to change that out and put it as black and amber. So it's like got a whole city scarf on. Yay! So that was my thinking with this one. Trouble is, I might have to get more than one of these now because I think if I do one for one person, some other members in the family might just want one as well. So, yeah, very, very good. And I do like these with the white background. Sometimes, if I just don't want to think and don't want to have to keep changing colours out, I do like when you've got a background with all just one colour. Because what I do is I just get my big pot of that colour and a big tray and I just sit and do all of that white background, all of that one colour first. And then I do all the little like colouring in bits uh, with the other colours next. So, yeah, it's just um, sort of a... A relaxing way you don't have to think oh I need to change out my colour you can just do all one colour and sometimes I do like to just sit and just do that and uh, yeah particularly on a smaller painting as well it won't work on one of your enormous paintings um, but certainly on 30 by 30 30 by 40 if you've got all one background colour then that's fabulous um, and if you've got multi places and you can use your multi places then that's great you can just crack on uh, because there's all one colour and just use your multi so that's putting down more than one gem at one time I'm a single placer girl I tend to find I'm a lot faster just using the uh, one okay so let's have a look at these gems oh, we have got 20 different colors it looks like the key code is nice and clear with all capital letters and we do have dmc codes as well Oops. okay looks like 3865 is the background which is nice because that's like the winter white as i call it it's an off-white um B5200 is like a very stark bright white 
uh, whereas 3865 is just that little bit off white. So I used to have a car that was um, like an off white and it was called Winter White. It's just as like a marketing ploy, I think, to make it sell better, you know, makes it sound a bit more posh, doesn't it? Rather than an off white, it's Winter White. Um, so, yeah, we used to laugh about that quite a bit. <laughs> It's not a white car, it's winter white. <laughs> so how many packets of these have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, 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 tw
uh, and these were both £3.73 each. They're a special drill, so we are on Smash in the Special 6 at the moment. And these are plates. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is just so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh. And so what I like to do with the plates, let's see if we can just get hold of this and flatten it out a bit, is uh, cut them out and just put them onto foam board so that they actually are like having an actual plate rather than having a canvas. And it does work really, really well. Um, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes cutting your foam board. Um, but yeah, they do look really good. And then you've got like a set of plates on your wall at Christmas. So, oh, that is gorgeous. If you find you've got creases in your canvases, just put them under something heavy um, for a few days and that should flatten out. Or you can iron your canvases on the reverse as well. But uh, yeah, you'll tend to find that once you've got them um, just flattened like this and then under something heavy that you tend to lose your creases. It's just like a packing uh, crease as they've been folded up coming through the post. Right, so this one is 13 different gems and colours, but um, they're just the sweetest little things. Look, a little bunny there with a little red bow. Oh, and we've got a very shy little Bambi there, a little deer and a little fox with his Christmas hat on. And it looks like they've all come round to the snowman's house for uh, present giving. Oh, we've got a little robin down here and one up there, look, with their little hats and scarves on. And some little presents. Oh, there's another robin there. Oh, this is just so cute. And then we've got our Christmas tree in the background. Oh, that is so sweet. Couldn't you just pick all those up and give them a cuddle? And then around the edge, we've got like the forest scene going all the way around the edge. So we've got bunnies and squirrels and foxes and a stag uh, and all these Christmas trees. And then a little uh, form there as well. There's a big stag there, look, looks like he's giving the bunny rabbit a kiss. He's bending down a little house. So it's just, oh, cute, cute, cute. Wow, that is so lovely. Oh, oh I'm really pleased I got this one. I know there's some fantastic things coming out uh, for Christmas at the moment. And I am trying to sort of get ahead of the game, as it were, and start getting mine now so I can plan out what I'm going to be doing um, over the uh, holiday period otherwise I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> All right, we've got a pen boat and wax and a couple of little grip seal bags in there and then this one has come in some little uh, bags there and like a train of bags so let's have a look at these. So we have, I say, oh there's 13 different gems and colours. They've put number 11 look which is lots of little um, Lots of little silver stars, which look like they're going all the way around the edge of the plate to make it sparkle. And then let's have a look what else we got. Uh, it is a partial, so all of the uh, background, uh, none of the background actually has any gems on it. It is just where there's numbers and letters um, and the animals and the presents on this bit to actually have any gems on so they do tend to work up quite quickly but I always think they're really effective and I just love the sparkle and they really make me smile and this one will make me go oh and smile as well and I see it on my wall <laughs> so we've got a lovely silver there a nice Christmassy red and a Christmassy green and a very icy cold blue and a little bit of like a peachy colour and an amber colour and that's a little bit of black for some highlighting and that's like a grey silver colour and that's a dark grey and then the specials we've got the gold with like the uh, ambery gold background we've got some larger red and then we've got some larger green in the rounds and there's no facets on those or is there now then let me see No, there is facets on those. I was going to say there's no facets on those, but there is actually. Uh, it's just my eyesight. So they are going to look very, very pretty. So that is plate number one. And then to match in with it is this one.
we have oh this one is like um it's santa but he's more of a saint nicholas with the outfit that he's wearing because he's got the longer coat and the different shaped hat uh, pen boat and wax with a few more grip seal bags and yeah you can tell that like the same set because the packaging and the toolkits and everything are uh, the same so pop that on one side a moment so yeah this is really really lovely oh this one's got cute the silver load on it as well i don't like cute cute and sparkly yay all it needs is hot pink and then it'll be perfect but i know you can't really have hot pink on there little animals <laughs> well you could but they'd probably object so we have a little fawn down here look at the little bunny popping out of the sack there look oh look and then we've got a little bunny here saying i'll have my present now please make sure my name's on your list and uh, santa's got his lovely feather pen there and we've got lots of little birds sitting around and then lots of presents under this gorgeous christmas tree as well that is so sweet and then around the edge we've got holly uh, and bells with big bows and little lanterns going all the way around so pretty let's give these a quick measure i think they're gonna be about um 25 centimetres for the actual plate size. Ooh, 24 centimetres, which is about nine and a half inches. And I think this one will be about the same. Yeah, 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches. So, I mean, there's nothing to, there's nothing wrong with actually just cutting them out as you square and putting them in a square frame. There is no problem doing that whatsoever. But as I say, I like them. I'm not keen on just plain white backgrounds. So I like to cut them out and put them onto a piece of mount board and then have them as like a set and arrangement of plates on my wall. So I will be getting others um, in these round ones as well. This one only has 11 different gems and colours. So not quite as many. So let's have a look and see what we got in here. Okay, so lots. Wow. So we have a silver to start off with, and your lovely Christmassy red, and a Christmassy gold, and a Christmassy green. So that's like your standard crystals, and then there are all specials after that. So that's uh, little round ones again with like that um, pale gold background. We've got some larger red and some larger clear crystals and some larger amber crystals there now. Then we've got some marquees, which are the solid gold on the top, not solid gold as in proper gold, a uh, solid gold colour with the paler colour underneath. And then we've got two little separate bags with teeny tiny gold stars and teeny tiny silver stars. And again, they're going to be dotted around the edges of the plate. So very, very pretty. Oh, these pictures are just so gorgeous. Again, it's a partial. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, these sort of like little animals and uh, Santa's face there and the little deer, they're so small. If you tried putting gems on them, you'd lose any sort of picture in detail on them. So by having it as a partial, you still get the picture, but then you get the sparkle from all the gems that are just highlighting the bigger parts of the picture. So yeah, it's been well thought out this one. Very, very nice. Okay, well, uh, so we've had uh, our two plates, which I will get done, special drills, and get those uh, cut out and put on the wall. I will show you that when I do it. And then we've had our gorgeous little tiger. Oh, imagine finding a tiger under your Christmas tree. To be honest, it'd probably eat all your chocolates, so that's probably not brilliant. <laughs> and then to go with your tiger, look, we've got a little paw print. <laughs> okay, well, huge thank you, DIY Chews, for sending me these. Uh, I love them and I've really enjoyed looking at them. Uh, I hope you have too. If you've enjoyed looking, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. 
any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you click on more and more again you will get the links to these products if you want to go and have a look at them yourself on the website and if you want to come back join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you're not gonna miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon Bye for now.